High unemployment rates have caused many people to develop more conservative spending habits in the last few years. Although this lack of consumption has been devastating to some businesses, there is one industry that seems to never go out of style. Most people like to feel beautiful, and the money doesn't lie. Despite a dip in national consumer spending, salons have experienced strong sales and a steady growth in clients. I get my hair colored regularly now, so how often I come in is kind of generated by needing to come in. Some are calling the beauty business recession-proof. Census data shows that the number of salons increased 15% nationwide from 2007 to 2009. We really haven't seen much of an economy effect. Um, when we opened, we did remodel this whole place, so we brought in new stylists, and we have definitely seen an increase of clients and stuff coming into the salon. Although most salons are kind to their clients' hair, some are not so kind to their wallets. Prices range from $20 to $200 depending on the salon and the style. Nonetheless, many salon customers feel that that time in the chair is worth every penny. Well, it's just a little bit of time to focus on me and to relax a little bit. Um, certainly enjoy the interaction with uh, my stylist. I've no one and um, come to Carolyn for 20 plus years. While a thrifty person might take clippers to their own head, most patrons wouldn't change their hairstyling habits when it comes to cutting their budgets. I'm Nick Pavia reporting for Studio One. According to business trend analysis, the average American woman visits a salon 2.5 times a month. The most common services used included hair trimming, dyeing, and highlighting.